I'm Isaiah J. Poole, and I'm here with Adele Stan, the Washington editor at Alternet, and she spent time at the Conservative Political Action Conference uh, here, uh, actually in suburban Prince George's County. Adele, tell me what was the main thing that stood out uh, about that conference while you were there. You've been to several of these. Yeah, I think I've been to many. Yeah. So tell me about this particular conference, what stood out. What stood out for me this time, Isaiah, was that uh, what I saw was, well, what stood out was where, they, where I saw the conservative movement divided and where I saw it united. And what's, what's really going on is a big generational shift. And the younger people seem to be much more inclined to be sort of along the neo-libertarian lines of, say, Rand Paul. Rand Paul was hugely popular. He won the straw poll. He won the straw poll. Now, Marco Rubio came in a close second. But I sense of Marco Rubio is that he's sort of an old person's idea of a young person. In other words, okay. his, his uh, rhetoric and ideology tracks more with the Republican establishment. Okay. There's been a lot of focus in the media about the split between the sort of the, uh, the establishment Republicans, right. the libertarian uh, brand of Republicanism, and you haven't mentioned the phrase Tea Party. Ah. Where does that fit? Now? Well, you know, the Tea Party, I mean, the, the original conception of the Tea Party, as I saw it, was always to sort of bridge the, the gap between social conservatives and libertarians. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was, an, it was an attempt to sort of widen that circle. Some 40% uh, of Tea Partiers identify as uh, Christian evangelicals. I mean, uh, yeah, I think it's about 40%. So, but the Tea Party is older people. You know, the Tea Party is largely, I mean, a lot of retirees. So as in terms of a brand, it's kind of an old-timey brand, even though it's only a few years old. But they're trying very hard to hip themselves up. One of the ways they did that was Jenny Beth Martin, who runs Tea Party Patriots. Um, she is equating uh, Obamacare with the Hunger Games. And so what they did was they did this video, this viral video, that, that, well, they, they hope it goes viral, uh, that kind of couches it all that way, and it has, it's very dramatic, and it, it has actors, and you know, this futuristic Hunger Games kind of video, and they gave a Hunger Games-themed cocktail party <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> at CPAC. So, uh, so they get it. They know that they need to get these young people in if they're going to have a future. Now, what is it exactly that uh, young people, that is attracting young people, particularly to the Rand Paul style of, of conservatism, that is, holds particular danger for progressives? In other words, what do we really have to be up our game? Where do we have to up our game in order to deal with this? Well, uh, it's really interesting because you already see progressives sort of, you know, giving props to Rand Paul for his anti-drone filibuster, for right. instance. Um, created a huge divide. A huge divide, and you know, I, I must admit to being part of that. I'm, uh, I am, I am really nervous about progressives giving what is essentially amounts to Rand Paul more power, and the way that he can peel off, I think, a moderate to progressively inclined, you know, young men, particularly white men, is through his his uh, rhetoric against the drug war through his rhetoric against warfare, uh, which is not so much about being against war, but about keeping resources at home, yeah. and the drones, national security stuff. So that and that and progressives have not been talking so much about that, at least at the level of elected officials. Okay. Now, one other theme which has been, uh, certainly in the Republican Party in the last day, has been the notion that the Republican Party needs to reach out to Latinos, to African Americans, sure. and we have that discussion going on with Reince uh, Priebus and his right. autopsy, but there wasn't a lot of minority representation <laughs> at CPAC, was there? No, there certainly and was wasn't. Was there any discussion of how to reach out to sort of broaden the base of progressives, well, of, 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 of conservatives? Rather? Well, yeah, there was. I mean, they tried to, you know, they, you know, a lot of panels had a had a, a single Latino or African American on the panel. Um, they had a, a situation go terribly awry 
uh, at um, a, a Tea Party Patriots panel uh, where it, it was about, are you tired of being called a racist? Um, here's how to stop it. And a guy turned up who really seemed to be a racist uh, saying that African Americans should have been grateful for slavery because it was like free meals and, <laughs> mm. <laughs> and a roof over your head. So that didn't go well for them. I mean, the problem with them in trying to reach out is that the base is the base. The problem yeah. is not the message, it's the base of the Republican Party. So uh, should progressives be uh, grateful that CPAC is this great circus that is really going to, um, uh, that America is going to say, look at those crazies, or do we really have to worry? I think that we always have to worry. I think it pays to be vigilant. Isaiah, because as crazy as it all seems to us, right? You know, history is cyclical. They occasionally win, and all we have to do is look at what's going on in the states. And you heard that from the podium, right? That okay, believe it or not, we're winning. We can all cry about what's going on with the with the presidential politics, but really, we're winning because in the states, we've got all these anti labor laws, we've got all these anti abortion laws, we've got all this stuff going on. And so, even in the autopsy, the GOP autopsy report, that's right. That's Ryan's the point that they, is what he's saying. Yeah, yes. he's talking about the states. Right. So I think that it's very tempting to go ha ha and I see comments on my article saying, oh yeah, please make Rand Paul run for president. We'll win for sure. But you know what? You can never count on that. Well, what I really hope that you will do, Adele, is to keep writing good articles about the movement on Alternate so that we'll know what to watch for. Well, thank you, Isaiah. Thank right. you. Thank you.